Hi guys, welcome back to my XVS guide. Now I'm going to review what Dragon Link. So let's start from her stats. I can say that her stats are insanely good, okay? Both normal and perhaps she form. On the normal form, she is more like balanced characters, okay? And I can say she can help you with offensive on normal form, but her brush shift is the form that you want to use her as an attacker because like you can see that on brave she form she gets plus 500 raw attack so this is really special because if you remember that usually the characters who get this raw attack boost raw magic boost are nva unit because they need to compensate their lack of attack or magic stats but white dragon link she is the real Neo Vision unit and she gets this plus 500 which gonna make her attack stats gonna be very very decent and not only that she also gets maximum 200% true dual wield stats and 200% chain modifier cap which means she is really easy to gear okay you can add her uh, killer okay because yeah she already get that maximum true dual wield and talking about killer, she gets insane killer, okay? 200% on beast, human, machine, and undead, okay? So, wow, pretty decent. Not only, get, not only that, she also has 50% physical efficiency. So, yes, tanky and powerful at the same time, okay? Really, really superb, okay? There's nothing to complain on her stats but what about her abilities let's take a look on the normal form so on normal form she is more like breaker and buffer okay she can deal damage but i don't think it's good idea for the normal form okay and yes first of all she can become breaker but i can say her breaking capabilities is not that good first she able to break 85% all stats to all enemies for three turns yes that's enough on today's standard but the problem is it is a cooldown ability and it is four turns cooldown which means you have one turn without 85% break sure she has that 80% all stats break but still I find this to be her weakness as a breaker okay but yes i can say you can perfectly use her as a breaker on trial battle okay 80 80 percent are quite are enough on today's standard i can say and she also able to give your party buffs okay and the thing that i find really useful is the physical and magic mitigation with defense spirit buff okay so those are really nice for general mitigation she is also quite good because from her grandish she can give your party 50 percent general magic and physical mitigation but again for general mitigation i think what you want to have right now is 70 percent so i can say this general mitigation is kind of lame okay basically I can say that her grandest and other abilities are meant to be used to fill her limit burst gauge okay because she require insane amount of uh, limit burst crystals to use her limit burst you need 90 limit burst crystals to use it sure I can say the effects are decent okay 300% defense spirit and it cannot be dispelled and if you take a look here this boss lasts for five turns which means if you manage to get let's say 12 limit burst crystals regen per turn you only need to gather 30 limit burst crystals within five turns which is not that hard to do okay but again if you want to use her as a buffer i think you need to use both normal and brave shift for limit burst okay so you will see later how you can do that later okay to use both her 
prep shift and normal form limit burst. And yes, the special thing about her is she able to feel moral gauge, okay, for class of wheels, but too bad. I can say that her moral gauge feeling capability is not that special because if you remember, we also get NVA Elena and yes, she also able to do the same. So I think there is no need to force yourself to get White Dragon Link for class of wheels because Neo Vision Elena, she is also a really good buffer. Okay, I will review her later, but I think that's for the normal form. Let's talk about the Brave Shift form. So on Brave Shift form, she is still a buffer. Okay, she also able to break, but only 80%. But the special thing about this Brave Shift is she able to become strong finisher. Okay, Dragon Bite. The Dragon Bite able to deal like 200 70 times damage per cast okay but the main problem of this ability is it uses your limit burst crystals 30 limit burst crystals per use which means you need to have 90 limit burst crystals to triple cast this and once you do that you cannot use her limit burst which is pretty decent okay and talking about the damage, I can say, let's say that means 810 times damage per turn, which is amazing, right? But again, compared to Jumper, like Arden, Noctis, I can say um, maybe it is not that special. Sure, it is powerful, okay? I can say she is probably one of the best finisher on the game right now. But remember, you need that insane amount of level B crystals. If you cannot maintain that 90 limit burst crystals, that means you cannot spam this every turn. So I can say this is like jumping move because you need to gather your limit burst crystals. Okay, so it's not reliable damage on every turn. That's one of her weakness. Okay, and she also able to grant everyone with Stardust Ray and Chaos Wave Awaken Chaining Family, okay. This ability also available on normal form. So she is really great support. But the main problem is actually not that big problem for Stardust Ray, triple caster, okay. Triple cast Stardust Ray with 75 times damage modifier, totally awesome. But for Chaos Wave Awaken, you also limited to triple cast. Okay, so like I said on previous video, are we going back to triple cast chaos wave awaken meta or whatever? But I can say this chaos wave awaken is not that good to to become your real chaining partner for your mage. The way you use this chaos wave awaken is for chaining for your magic finisher. So let's for example. Uh, for Dark Vision, okay, when you want to use, uh, let's say, finishing magic, but you lack a uh, character that able to chain with on magical attack, you can use White Dragon Link to do that. And not only that, this form also superb because you able to give 150% undead, machine, human, and beast killer to all allies. That's what make this form really insane, okay? Really good uh, support, also able to imbue fire and light with 120% uh, in peril. So I can say these abilities are pretty decent, okay? Including the limit burst, you get 5 physical efficient for 5 turns. This is really useful, especially if you use AoE magic cover tank. But Mm, yes, it's really hard to do all these amazing things because she uses Limit Press Crystals as her fuel. Okay, so that's all for the Brave Shift form. Now let's talk about the equipment. So for equipment, okay, on normal form, it is obvious you want to have hike faster LB fill rate. It is really important because she uses limit press crystals. Okay, 
but the good news is it is quite easy because of her STMR. Her STMR gives her 150% fossil ABV rate and because it is a dagger, if you manage to get a rare ability for it, that means you have 300% fossil ABV rate. Just imagine if you equip two of those daggers, okay? You're gonna have high fossil ABV rate, which make you able to use her finishing attack and limit burst frequently. I can say that her lim brave shield limit burst, while good, maybe it is not that as essential as her normal form, okay? Because her normal form limit burst is meant to survive, okay? And yes, for the brave shield form, I can say equip her with killers, and because you don't need that uh, limit burst damage boost, you can equip killer. But the most important thing is still, you need high fossil ABV rate, okay? Your goal basically is to be able to use her triple finishing attack as frequently as possible. To do that, you need that faster LBV rate. Okay, if I'm not mistaken, the maximum is 1000 faster LBV rate. If you're able to achieve that, then that's, that's amazing, right? But if you don't, I don't think she is that great as a DPS. That reliable, still, still really great with her hike attack and hike attack and hike damage modifier. She is really good. Okay, so my conclusion for White Dragon Link. So White Dragon Link, I can say, hmm, she is interesting character. Okay, but after looking this, she is good. Okay, don't get me wrong. But I think she lacks a wow factor, okay? What do I mean by wow factor? I believe that certain character, for example, like you notice pure black mage Fifi, they have something that insanely bright through, okay? But for White Dragon Link, she is pretty decent character, but yes, I, I'm not... I'm not out when see her, okay? Sure, she is powerful, okay? She can become your finisher. She can give you lots of useful buff. But again, those are hard to use because it is not your usual buffer where they use uh, LB, I mean, where they use MP, okay? You really need to have certain build in order for White Dragon Link to be able to become buffer finisher, basically fulfill her role. And if you want to make her more useful, you also want to make her into like provoker. And with those kind of role, maybe you cannot optimize her as a main attacker. Okay, I don't say she is bad, okay? If you have the required equipment, she is awesome. As a finisher, as a buffer, basically, chainer, whatever, she is awesome. But it is limited to your equipment. Do you have fast level fuel rate and other type equipment which make her able to use her limit burst and finishing attack frequently? If you can do that, then she is good. But if you cannot do that, I find she is kind of okay character, not a must have. Okay, and basically as a class of will characters, the first class of will characters, I find that her moral gauge filler abilities are not that special because yes, Neovich and Elena are also able to fill 650 moral gauge on the first turn okay basically the special thing about what regaling is she has special abilities which depend on moral gauge that able to buff your party but again that's kind of a restricted restricted ability okay so i don't like it that much and yes the efficient card 
it is also bad vision card i must say uh, attack and health i wish they give something like fossil rate which support her requirement okay as a lb users but they give attack and health what's wrong okay what's wrong and yes the good thing about her is the stmr okay i really like this stmr because yes we rely on faster i mean we rely on limit burst so this strong dagger is really powerful okay especially if you manage to get that rare ability okay so make sure you get that rare ability when you obtain this stmr okay i can say that this is really crucial equipment for white dragon link to have high fossil ABP rate okay so yep i think that's all you need to know about white dragon link if you ask me the scores maybe i can say uh 9 9.5 out of 10 okay not a perfect 10 character in my eyes okay thank you very much for watching please hit the like button and subscribe to my channel for more final fantasy perhaps vs guide bye bye guys